Welcome to Claris Talk. Hello, this is Matt Navar with FileMaker Talk and Claris Talk and other places like Navar Training. Um, and I had several conversations with people recently about get UUID versus get UUID number. These are features that most of us use as primary keys in databases. And I did some research on the web and couldn't find anything that I found really satisfying. So I ran a series of tests, not definitive, but these are things that I think are important. I created a simple database, um, one of them that used UUID number as a key and one that used UUID as a key, and then ran a series of tests for various different aspects of each of these. So each database has um, two tables, uh, a parent table and a child table, um, around 3 million records in the parent and 1 million in the child. And I use some random functions, so they're going to slightly different counts. And there's simple scripts. So the first test I did was, was this. I wanted to take a look at, with 100,000 records, what was just the, the, the database size um, without any indexing at all. And I found, interestingly, that um, with you don't have an index on a text field, it uses less space than a number field. And that's because the UUID number is considerably more digits than text. As soon as you turn indexing on though, that changes. So the index for text field uses more space. And this is using, by the way, the um, only the um, Oh, that's actually unindexed. I think I, I turned the index off in another one, but it's only using the minimal index, the value index, which is all you ever need on a primary key field. And so that one still made the text index larger. If you turn on the full index, it gets even bigger. So the, the text index uses much, much more space. Um, although again, in a primary key, it doesn't do that. Uh, I found one thing that I thought was pretty interesting. The default setting for FileMaker when it makes a primary key is to use Unicode storage rather than English storage. I don't know why that does. It makes it case sensitive as opposed to case insensitive. It didn't seem to have any effects on speed or file size, but I just thought it was weird that that was an interesting, maybe that that was a default. Um, okay, so the, the next test I did um, was I wanted to see how long it would take locally on my M1 MacBook Air hard drive to make 1 million records. And this is with the primary key index on. Um, in this case, the text took less time. So, uh, and I think that must just be because of the size of the key. Then I did it with indexing. Um, <laughs> actually, I did it with the awful FileMaker default feature. Uh, that I that I rail about a lot of times, and that's this. When you make a default key in FileMaker, in the validation area, it checks these two boxes. So it confirms that the key has a key, but more importantly, the one that really kills you is it checks to see if it's unique. Um, that one, the more records you have, the more work it has to do to check to see if the new random UUID is actually really unique, which makes no sense at all to me. And you can see the hit, right? 54 and 51 seconds versus 92 and 80 seconds. And nothing changed uh, at all. Again, still we have the advantage to text speed on that one. The next thing I did was turning the index off, um, which made it even faster. So I um, actually did it. That's interesting. So it seems like the times are about the same, uh, indexing on or off, creating a million records. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do is take a look at the file size of the file after creating uh, a million records. I think they ran the test twice, so we have a couple million records in here. And again, the file size is still um, larger with number, and that's because in my parent table, I don't have the primary key indexed. Uh, in your top parent table, you don't need the primary key indexed, but it must be indexed in the child tables. Next, I wanted to do um, create. So I've got a few different series of tests. The next one after this one was a, a big read test, but the next one is just create children records uh, using a one-to-many relationship. So that look, relationship looks like this. So primary key uh, in the this table to the foreign key here, 
and a simple one to many. Um, so that means that this foreign key is indexed, this parent key is not. Uh, so that's the, and the same in both files. Okay, given that, um, to create 50,000, to go to loop through 50,000 records and then create a random number of um, of child records using a script. Here's what the script looks like. Uh, so it goes through, and I guess this looks like it's, yeah, 5,000 records, 50,000. I use a bunch of different file counts and various different iterations of the script. So basically it just loops through the parent and then goes through to the child table and creates a random number of records because um, this is something that's frequently done, pretty, a pretty real-world test, and then tracks the time. Um, and uh, to take a look at the minutes, how many minutes it takes to do that. And so it takes less time to create records using text keys uh, than primary keys. So what, what you end up with is something that looks like this, right? So you have X number of random re of records, and I use just a random function in each key. And then I, this is a, um, uh, after I did that, uh, actually this is a result of the next test down we'll talk about in a second. So the next test I did was taking a look at the file size before creating these children records. Still, the text is smaller. And then the file size after creating the children records. So you can see the file size grew quite a bit, but still the text is smaller. Next, what I did was I moved the file from my desktop to my dev server, which is 1,000 miles away. I'm in Crete, and my dev server is in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, so very good WAN <laughs> testing. Uh, and things slow down so much uh, when you create records locally. So I, my tests go down from 10,000 to like 100. Um, so I repeated the, the parent record creation test um, running locally. And this one was very, very similar in time. A tiny advantage to text I don't even really would call that one. So this is just creating records um, uh, in, the, in the parent table. Then I, then I went to the same exact thing, but I did it with PSOS. So all of the uh, processing obviously is happening on the server. Still, the slight advantage goes to text. The next thing I did was I think what was the most important test. And this was, this was looping through records. So this simulates what I would think actual use of a database. And that is going to a particular record, in other words, doing a search for a parent, looking at the related records, so basically loading a portal, and doing a simple calculation on the re related records, which is just adding up the sum of all of the, uh, the random fields, and then writing it to a field in the parent table. Um, that's it. So very, very simple, but it emulates the kind of typical math you do. And by looping through it, um, it has to load each record. So it kind of negates like any advantage of cache. By the way, I did all these tests serially. I did them in both different orders. So uh, no, no cache, no, nothing like that. Um, to, so there shouldn't be any advantage for one or the other method. So looping through these records, I found quite a bit of variability when I ran the run several times. Uh, sometimes even by a couple of minutes. So I ran this one a lot. I took, I ran a bunch of runs and I took the best two of the five and averaged them. Uh, actually, I added them up. And then I still found a pretty significant distant, uh, advantage for looping through the records uh, with a text key compared to a number key. Uh, then I repeated the initial record creation now that I have three million records and I still found a slight advantage for text and that was really kind of the last test I did. So here's basically the results of all of them um, uh, with the advantage. I'd be happy to discuss any of this uh, with anyone if someone has done more scientific research on it. I was kind of hoping that the number result was gonna be faster because I think a lot of people have said that it is, but really the only thing that I found that it does better is it makes a smaller file. Um, and that's because the index is smaller uh, kind of no matter what you do when you have a number when you have a number field. All right, thanks for your time. I hope you found this interesting.